guys. So, how's it going guys? Will here. So in my time making these videos, I've tried out several different filmmaking tools. One of the newer ones is obviously gimbals. However, with the type of videos that I make being tech videos, the small movements that you need to do of things like this phone really don't suit gimbals. So I've always used something like this fluid head tripod and also things like carbon fiber sliders. However, up until I tried out the Zeepin Micro 2, which is obviously <laughs> the subject of today's video, I honestly hated sliders. I had this carbon fiber one from newer. Granted, it was cheap, but it was very difficult to use, annoying to maintain, and fairly difficult to remove from my fluid head tripod. In comes the Zeepin 2. Now, uh, oh, I already did my unboxing on this thing back in December, and in between that time and now, I've used this thing on literally every single video I've made. Also, before we get into it, I just want to make it clear, Zeepin did send me the slider and the base plate for review, but they haven't told me what to say, and my opinions in this video are completely my own. All right, let's go. The first thing I really like about the Zeppon Micro 2 is the fluid motion. Getting smooth shots is very easy with this slider due to the level of force. There's a fair amount of restriction and because of the way it's built, when you stop pushing it, it stops immediately. Now, my old slider didn't do this and that made getting smooth shots really difficult. I used to rick it around, there was no restriction. I had to add a crazy amount of stabilization in post. And overall, it just meant making these videos took way longer than necessary. It can also move completely fluidly if tilted. I personally can't use this because I'm mounted directly on top of my tripod. Cool feature nonetheless. Less, though. As I said before, the motion is extremely smooth. Now I can actually get away with not using any stabilization in post, and this is a huge time saver. Yeah, overall, getting smooth motion with the Zeppon Micro 2, very easy. Something else I really like about the Zeppon Micro 2 is, of course, the form factor. When folded up as it is now, it's only 33 centimeters. Sorry about the wind. I had the idea to film out here, but it has a travel distance of 54 centimeters, which is amazing for traveling. It does come with a nice little traveling case, and to make it even easier, there are these little lock buttons on the side that once you click, this isn't going anywhere. In my opinion, that's awesome. It's very windy out here. It was a mistake to film outside on a day like this. I don't know, I just had the idea to film outside. Whew. Okay, so. That was windy. So it might be best if we finish this video inside. It always gets windy this time of year in the UK. Every single year. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about the build quality. The Zeppelin Micro 2 features very solid construction. It doesn't feel cheap. The rails don't rattle around. And as an added bonus, aircraft grade aluminium alloy. I think that's kind of cool. All of these things lead to an overall higher build quality. Because of the way it was designed, I don't have to constantly keep adjusting screws. In fact, I don't even need to clear the dust because as we can see here, it actually features automatic dust scrapers. So when it runs through, this sort of clears the rail so I don't have to wipe them. Ah, I got my hair stuck. That was a bad idea to do it <laughs> that close to my head. Now, while the dust scrapers are a little addition, having dust-free slide rails is fantastic because it means you get smoother shots. Overall, very pleased with the build quality. Moving on, something you have to be really careful with when choosing a new slider is to make sure that your camera is supported under the maximum payload. This thing has a payload of eight kilograms. <laughs> this camera is what I consider to be pretty heavy. It's like four kilograms. So the fact that that tiny slider can support two of my cameras is pretty amazing. Now, this is especially helpful for me because I do like to rig out my cameras. And so having that extra room to upgrade is a really nice touch. As I briefly said before, not only did Zeppin send me the slider, but they also sent me the base plate known as the Easy Lock. Now, this is an optional add-on and not only does it act as a quick release, but also as a low profile converter, meaning you can get those low down shots much easier. It's got these nice foldable legs and these grippy feet. Overall, it's nice and sturdy and makes the slider a lot more user-friendly. In summary, I'm very pleased with the Zeppelin Micro 2. It's reignited my love for slider shots and it makes making these videos a hell of a lot easier. Honestly, the time saving that comes along with using higher quality equipment goes a long way. And the only similar product to my knowledge is those Edelkrone sliders and the equivalent of this and the Edelkrone equivalent of this to my memory is almost double the price. I'll put the exact figure on the screen right now, but it is definitely more expensive than this. Overall, I would recommend this to anyone who wants to get into the higher end of sliders. It's a fantastic slider for the price point. And as I said before, I absolutely love this thing. All right, guys. So that's the end of today's video. I know this one has been slightly different from usual. I did very much need a break after the last video though. However, that said, next week, I'm going to be doing the iPhone 6s versus iPhone 7 video. As of now though, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this and smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now and I will see you guys in the next one.